Praise the Lord. This is Sister Marilyn Belcher, and I'm the pastor of the First United Pentecostal Church here in Centerville, Alabama. And I'm thankful that you are with us today on this uh, video. And as I say most every time, I just pray that something that I do or say will be a word of encouragement to you. Uh, we got all kinds of things bogging us down in this day and age. Uh, it seems like if we're not bombarded, bombarded from the right, then we're bombarded from the left, and then on just one of those days, we find ourselves being bombarded from the right and the left, but I just know a God that's in control, and I know that He is going to see us through, and one day, all of this is going to be over with, and, and it won't even be a distant memory. We, we won't even have no recollection of this, because we're going to be in the presence of the Lord, and we're going to be with the Lord for all eternity. So when you consider uh, all things, you look at the whole picture and it's by the grace of God, I'm going to make it. And so today I just want to encourage you to, to hold on and just know that someday this, as we know it, will all be gone. Today I'm going to be preaching and I know my title may seem a, a, a little bit different different, but uh, it's still, it's my title. And I'm going to be preaching on today, Humpty Dumpty must not have known Jesus. And I'm going to take my scripture from the book of Mark in the 10th chapter, and I'm going to read verses 46, and then I'm going, 46 and 47, and then I'm going to read verses 51 and 52. So again, Mark the 10th chapter, reading verses 46 and 47. And they came to Jericho, and as he went out of Jericho with his disciples, and a great number of people, blind Bartimaeus, the son of Timaeus, sat by the highway side beckon. And when he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to cry out and say, Jesus! Thou son of David, have mercy on me. And going down to verse 51 and 52. And Jesus answered and said unto him, What wilt thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I might receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way, thy faith has made thee whole. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. I have uh, one of my grandson, he's 23 now, and many, many years ago, uh, his mother uh, bought him a little bitty step stool. And so on it, is the little uh, saying about Humpty Dumpty and every little piece of it front and back has got a part about Humpty Dumpty and, and so I just passed that by this morning and glanced down at it and it says Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall Humpty Dumpty had a great fall all the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty Dumpty back together again. And I thought, how sad. Humpty Dumpty must not have known Jesus. The king's men must have not have known Jesus. And they couldn't put poor little Humpty Dumpty back together again. But I felt my heart soar when I thought, all I've got to do is call upon the name of Jesus. Now Humpty Dumpty is just just a little child saying it's just a little song that they learn but I want you to know Humpty Dumpty wasn't real but my God is real Jesus is real and all I've got to do is speak the name of Jesus and he is the great physician he is the healer he is the, the uh, savior he's everything that we need and thank God that we know Him. It would be a horrible life to live and never speak the name of Jesus. 
Oh, what a sad and lonely and miserable life it must be to live and not know Him. You know, we can have physical problems and still know Jesus. Some, you know, it rains on the just and the unjust. And in this life, we're going to have all kinds of problems. But that doesn't take away from Jesus. That doesn't take away from the power that he has to heal. And to think that Barnabas was blind and he was sitting on the side of the highway begging, that alone is sad. But, and he probably did it day after day. He probably had somebody lead him and set him down. And there he sat, blind, begging. But he knew something. He knew somebody. And the Bible said he heard that Jesus was coming by. The Bible said when he heard that it was Jesus, he began to cry out. Come on, people. We need to lift up our voices. We need to let our faith soar. We need to call upon that name, the only name that matters. And that name is Jesus. And the Bible says that he began to cry out, <coughs> Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And just like people, they begin to quiet him down. See, it wasn't their problem. It was Barnabas' problem. It wasn't their problem. If it had been their problem, they'd probably been crying out just like he was. But he was determined that he was going to get Jesus' attention. And they tried to quiet him down. And the Bible says the more that they tried to quiet him down and told him to hold his peace, the more he cried out saying, Thou son of David, have mercy on me and the Bible said Jesus stood still he had gotten what he intended to get and that was Jesus attention and the Bible said Jesus commanded that they bring Barnabas to him and he asked the question what wilt thou that I should do unto thee or in other words what do you want from me what do you want me to do for you? And Barnabas didn't him haul around. He didn't beat around the bush. He went straight to the issue. He went straight to the need. And he said, Lord, that I might receive my sight. What is it that you're needing from Jesus today? What is it? That you want him to do or you need him to do for you today. My mind goes to many, many, many years ago. Many. 30 plus years ago. And I was going to have to have a surgery. And I didn't want that surgery. But I was going to have to have it nonetheless. And they said I had to go to a specialist. I didn't know a specialist of that type. So I, someone made a reference and I had my doctor do a consult and off I went. And during that examination and that doctor's talking, he used a cuss word. He didn't cuss me, but he said a cuss word. And I thought, mm -mm, you ain't touching me, honey. Mm -mm. I want a doctor that knows the great physician. I want a doctor when I'm laid out under anesthesia and something goes wrong with me. That doctor can pray for me. That doctor can intercede for me. I don't want no one that doesn't really have a true relationship with Jesus. So I went back to my doctor. And I said, that ain't going to work. And he knew me. So he sent me to someone else who was a Christian doctor. 
And on the consent form that day, I signed to have a temporary colostomy. But when I woke up from the surgery and I was supposed to be in ICU, I was supposed to have all this stuff. But I was in my room. And there was my pastor and my sister leaning over me. And they told me that the doctor said somebody touched her. And I know who he is. And I didn't have to have that colostomy. See, I had somebody that could intercede for me. Somebody that knew Jesus. Do you know him today? Can you call upon him? Can you reach out to him? Sure you can. All you've got to do is call out to him. If you don't know him, call out repentance. If you do know him, call out in faith and say, Jesus, have mercy upon me. And the Bible says there that when Barnabas stated exactly what he needed, Jesus said, go thy way, thy faith has made thee whole. And he immediately he received his sight and he followed Jesus. There's a scripture in Jeremiah says 17 and 14. It says, heal me, O Lord, and I shall be healed. Save me and I shall be saved for thou art my praise. Even in sickness, let's praise him. Even in discouraging times, let's praise him. This, uh, Jeremiah said, heal me, I shall be healed. Save me, and I shall be saved. He's the deliverer. He's the healer. He's our redeemer. He's whatever you need today. There's a song that I heard many years ago. And it's making its comeback and different singers singing it. And they kind of changed the tune of it. But it's still the same. The message is still the same. And I walk around outside sometimes, especially on my lower lot where I love to go to. And I sing this unto the Lord. And it says, His strength is perfect. When our strength is gone, he'll carry us when we can't carry on. Raised in his power, the weak become strong. His strength is perfect. His strength is perfect. And I change it to when I'm singing it to the master. Your strength is perfect when my strength is gone. You'll carry me when I can't carry on. Raised in your power, my weak become strong. Your strength is perfect. Your strength is perfect. Heavenly Father, as we come to the close of this message, I cry out for the people that are hurting today. I cry out for those that are sick and they need healing. I cry out for those that are lost and that need salvation. Father God, I just ask you to help them to cry out to you. God, I just thank you that we can know you. Not just know you, but truly 
know you and Lord have that promise that 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 comforting power of knowing that you know us please keep us and we give you all the praise in Jesus' name amen <laughs>